Hello guys, this is Pimpinsard and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Everyone will be getting bored of their own campaigns. Or at least maybe not bored, but it's pretty similar. Same troops you're seeing, same tactics. So I thought I'd go for something different. And I had a hard think. It was between the Egyptians. Oh, right, you clicked them. The Egyptians. I thought about Carthaginians. Gaul. And the Greeks. And the Greeks won. So they do it every time for me, the Greeks win. So, I'll just let you listen to the intro video. The Greeks could rule the world. Alexander did. He took a Greek army to the Far Indus. There was nothing left to conquer. The world was his. But Alexander is dead. His empire is gone. And so we live in evil days. The free men of Greece have turned on each other instead of their proper enemies. Those who envy all the Greeks have done. Alexander must weep if the dead weep. I would weep in his place. But I would also hope. The world turns. What was may come again. The fate still spin the web of men's lives. Gods wish Greeks to be great again. Perhaps a new Alexander will take up the sword. Bring order where there is chaos. Remake the world of men to a better plan. Perhaps. So there we go, that was intro for two there. Pretty kind of doom and gloom there, because Alexander had conquered the world, and now the Greeks are all fighting each other, don't need to press that. So, just to start off, we've got 5,000, is it Krona, it's called, is it, what is it, what is it, the money's actually called? Does it not say? No, I'm not different about what it's called. So we've got Rhodes, Pergamum, oh, I think there's rebels, we've got Sparta, Thurman and Syracuse. So I'll send a deep Greek deep diplomat. Oh, I kind of spoke right today. I'll send the Greek diplomat over to Carthage. I'll recruit a couple of militia hoplites because I know for a fact Skippy are going to come for me. So I'll start with. Uh, Shrine to Athena. Um, what I always do, wrong button. I always go to the building browser. And some places can do Spartan Hall plates. Some can't. I don't understand that. But anyway, I'll always check the Pantheon. So this one, experience bonus to troops 3. Nice. Plus 35%. Oh, that's quite good. Experience bonus plus one, thirty five percent happiness. Experience bonus boost plus one, big population boost there for Aphrodite. And Athena, um, she's just really for happiness. So that's Syracuse done. And if you go to recruitment here, Brody singers are ah, good, but it is two hundred pounds that you don't really need to spend right now. So I'm going to go for increasing tradable goods, a shrine to Hermes. At Sparta, I'm going to retrain my militia hoplites. Start recruiting some hoplites for my armies. Uh, the large temple to Nike, I'm going to go for. And Thermin, I'm going to get the shrine to Athena. And in Pergamum, I need walls. And that's my money. Scone. So, yep. This is different from any of the Romans that I've went. The Romans all start with two cities each. I've got about five here. Um, right, so Thurman. You need a barracks. Pergamum. Get a port. Syracuse. You need barracks. So 
So I've got Trojoids with Carthage. And there's Hanno, the faction leader. That's fine. Oh, I've got a diplomat here. Never noticed. I've got three boats which I don't need. Um, well, you could all disband them when they're docked. There we go, so that'll free up some wages just now because Greece, the Greek cities they start off pretty slow. They're powerhouse when they get fighting, but it's until then. So Athens, I would love to have Athens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Day 5 to get Athens. Um, construction, everyone else is constructing. Yep. Set from roads. Uh, we'll get a public bus and nice and early to help them. Yep. They're constructed. I know it's a massive army at Syracuse, I will have. But um, when Skippy I attack, they really do attack. So I really need it. Agent found. And Sparta from Macedon. Sparta Pegram Thurman. Now. Uh, do, 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 do. So the militia cavalry's no point. I've got walls around it, so I'll try the militia barracks. I know it's a bit risky. I uh, got a port there for some trading. City barracks, nice. Never realised I could build them. Militia barracks there. That's fine. Um, they will not come out for me. Seven tons I need to wait. Um, because once I get Athens, then technically, that's me surrounded. Corinth. They'll try and alliance. I don't think they will. Nah, because they're going to attack me soon. But I've got two traits with them at the moment. Which helps with money, I suppose. End of term reports, I'm still I'm doing not bad. Coming of age, Cleon of Sparta. Uh, who's not at Sparta? They've got Macedonian cavalry already. And they may as well build the communal farming. I really want to keep Syracuse because it is a gateway. Uh, didn't mean otherwise. Trade rights. Perfect. Um, yeah, it's a gateway into places. Helps me get. What is it called? That island? Is it Sicily? So if they never attack me the first time, they're probably not going to attack me. They've kicked my spy out. That's fine by me. So Sparta's got a port now, it's making some money. I'm going to put a couple of walls on it. Because the Macedons are hanging about. And I don't like it. So with a port... Um, it makes it nice and easy to get uh, with a port, sorry I'm talking about with the walls, with walls at least it makes me be able to hold them off for a turn while I work out what to do. Um, I still don't have much. Nice. Is it Syracuse? Pegram and Thurman. Um, I'm gonna risk it with the mines. And the reason I'm keeping the tax rate at normal and not changing it to low just now is because the population is still going up quite a bit, and it's at the end of the day it's still money that I need. 
still losing about seven or eight men every turn times four. So you're talking mm. that Athens is losing about 30 men, 30, 40 men every turn. Uh, roads and Syracuse. Syracuse is losing money because of the army size. Uh, so Pegram's got the mines. Now we're going to do the shred to Nike. Two turns left, yep, they've just over half left. Let's see, how's this skippy I want? Nothing. Okay. Uh, why have they not attacked yet? Because there they are, yep. I knew they'd be somewhere. Uh, after the roads, I'll probably get your temple to Athena. Temple to Nike. And if they attack me this turn, I'll be very surprised. And yep, put it out of 10th um, um, Apollonia, as you th as we thought they would. Pontus offer trade rates and map info. There. Oh, they're coming out to fight me. So this will be the first fight of this campaign, 10 15 minutes in. I'm really surprised they come out to fight me because they're weaker men, but I suppose if they're going to die anyway, they may as well fight. That's the way I see it. Excuse me, just take a drink there. The way I see it is the more of them you kill, the better. So. Ooh, I'm up a hill. Oh, apologies. I was pressing WASD there instead of. Um, I was pressing WASD there instead of the arrow keys. So triple game speed into Loma Wing and into order. I've told them to run, but I'm holding on to the formation button so that if they get close, they'll just put their spears down. So I've sent these peasants into attack. Now their peltus are reloading it says and now they're running away. But my peasants are gonna chase them. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, 
So I'll follow the peasants up. The peasants just run away then turn around and poke them. Quite a good combo. But they kind of have too much ammunition left. Yeah, they do it so well. No. So my peasants are currently getting slaughtered. Rangers, two of me to every one of them. I ah, know they're getting slaughtered out of the route now. Just to end the battle, it was a city battle, clear victory. Who killed the most? MVP. Oh, nearly the peasants. It was one of my whole places. I was hoping it'd be the peasants. Who doesn't love a good peasant? So that is us now. Got the city of Athens. That's a big economic boost. Um, Oh, just occupy even better and it's not just economic boosting it uh, militia hoplites um, Athens oh get a port there we go to so the ports there um, do -do 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 -do. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So, yep, oh, Sparta's not even building. That's shocking. You can get the city barracks. Thurman, you've got a good strong army there. Maybe now you're not whole plates just to be safe. Peg, don't want your army like that. You can get a couple of whole plates. And that evens out the money from Syracuse as well. How are I with Thrace just now? I know I will have to eventually kill them but no harm in allying with them just now is there? Um, construction, Pegram Thurman Roads Get better walls Um, get roads. That was all the retraining there that cost the money, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Especially when Pontus decide to come and fight me. Which they will. Roads grows. Athens has got a port. Now look at that. Trade income now. Just to Sparta, £883. So you can get shipped, right? And Sparta. And you can attack Kaidona next time. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have. Um, I'd have bought the Cretan archers next turn instead. Save me a bit of money. Oh, but they're attacking me. Nice. Spring arm better than them. I don't know they've got good archers, but I've got 95 cavalry, is it? And they're elite because I'm a generous cavalry. So ideally, realistically, they don't have much of a chance. So I will just do the normal kind of hammer and anvil tactic, or the run away actually from my infantry. So control infantry. Now you need to take the spearmen off a of formation if you want to put them side to side like that to make that one big battle line. And boy, does that look nice. Personally, I wouldn't want to. What about an enemy coming in there? That's what. One, two, three rows of spears beforehand, and then there's a row slightly tipping up just in case you try to jump over them. So there's four rows of spikes or spears or whatever you want to call it. Nasty. Uh, the Cretan archers just can go behind and 97 horsemen. So 
Search up a game suite. This is my cavalry charge done. I did just lose a few horsemen to the barrage. So creating archers, it says they're reloading. And now it says they're marching. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave. But the enemy general is running away. Enemy general's dead. And my archers are annihilating their hot plates. And continue the battle. Don't think you'll make it in time, no. Nope. So, 778. General's bodyguard, 411. I thought that. Cretan archers get just over 250 between them, which is quite good. Better than a poke now with a sharp stick, I suppose. So, as Kaido and Avos. No, we need to actually see they've. Get me watched over there. So, uh, Kaidonia. Where is my diplomat? Okay, you can go down to the Egyptians. Blacksmith. And you can get shot. So yeah, the money is still quite low, but it pretty much will be for the first while until we get set up. Because they have got a lot more places to build for. If it isn't a Rome, at least when you start as Rome, you've only got two. So you can uh, you manage your money a lot easier. Um, Sparta's got city barracks. Nice. Um. I'm at Barracks is Spartan Hoplites. But if you go to Thurman, you don't have the Spartan Hoplites. I know Sparta would obviously have them. I think that's possibly where it goes to. So it needs to be a large city first. But we need some archers as well. So I'm recruiting some armoured Hoplites.
ammo top like this early on in the game is pretty much a joke. Well, for me it's amazing, but for the enemy it is a joke. And Athens 1769, as soon as it gets that ship right, it'll go up. I think it's at 2309 already. Let's see, it might even go up more. 2309. Trade rights and a little bit of map info. That's perfect for me. I have the alliance with them. So, construction roads, basically everywhere. So, roads will get a ship right. Then I'll go for the academy. Um, Athens, Athens, Athens. Um, you're going to be my wee money maker, so you've got some mines. Oh, Thurman, Trader, and Syracuse Trader. That's about all I can afford just now. As bad as it sounds, I kind of want the Skippy Eye to attack me, so I've got an excuse to go and attack them. But I know if I attack them, Brutti Eye will probably come and attack me at Thurman, and I would not like that. Uh, Pergonum and Kaidonia. Oh, well, Kaidonia will be up soon in Pergonum, yep. Um, oh, retrain everybody. And I've got the money, I'll get the mines plus one just now. The sooner I get them, the better it'll be. Now, let's see. Uh, both of my. My cities have got enough and there's a lovely Spartan hop rights. Um, a lot of people and I will keep the Spartan hop rights in Sparta to protect it against nothing else because um, in historical times Sparta didn't have a wall. Like, it didn't have walls around about it. Spartans walls were the Spartans. Um, so they didn't need walls, and an archer range will get for some archers. So, I'll, I cheated a wee bit and put walls around them, and I'm going to use them because to me I think it's stupid if you don't use them. Especially with how good they are, so increasing trade of goods in the mines. Did Kaidona. Kaidona will go up now. Pergonum, Rhodes is building. Thurman's not, so get the sewers in. Syracuse, you can get a tempo in there. Uh, a very slow start, but we will make up for it at some point with the battles against Macedon soon. I mean, this is an hour long episode, as is every first episode of our Rome Total Wars. We're at 2,700 already from Athens, so this episode really is just trying to build up your economy. And Kaidona has just expanded. These know from Brutii how good Kaidona can be. Roads and I think it was at Athens. Yeah, then Chris will trade with good ship. They've got the levy pipemen. They aren't very good, so so let's So let's send my army out and attack Macedon. Um, Critting archers. Don't mind if I do. Diplomatic, everyone's allies. Germany's allies with everyone. Sorry about that popping up, someone playing wrong Total War again. Total War 2. Because not just about every video I do. The genius of Sparta's came of age, is it Pergonum? Um, diplomat, don't know where to put them. I'll just bring them back. Mm. Now Skippy I have asked me for an alliance. 
every other time I've ever played a Greek campaign, Scipio attacked me. Now they've asked me for an alliance, that's kind of confused me. So maybe I should use this time to go and attack Carthage and get Libyum, so as I can take the Isle of Sicily. Or should I just hold out my defences? Yep. Um, this is going to be my elite line of infantry. Uh, we need to look at these Spartans. Here we go, there's 300 for you. Beautiful. Um, they're going to stay behind because they're going to fill in the gaps. As is a general and the Cretan archers. They're going to be out in the front. So, in fact, I'm going to put the Spartans to the left. Um, it was what Greeks used to do in real life. Alexander the Great was one of the ones that did it. He puts his strongest units at the left or the right side. It used to be the right actually. I am changing it up and going to the left. And what would happen is the stronger units at the right would push forward and push, and then they would end up surrounding the enemy and they would end up defeating them. So the archers are coming in while they're walking out of formation. If they walk in formation, they would have saved a lot of casualties. But. Oh dear, oh dear. So my critting archers are going to run across, so as you can fire from the flank, my general is going to see off the Macedonian cavalry, or the Macedonian, depends how you pronounce it, and they'll start routing soon. Yep. There's no point in chasing them that far. And then they've got light lancers. See where the crit are, they're shooting them down. And that's them done, so I'm going to get the Spartans out of formation and get them to run. Well, they take massive casualties there from the archers. So my general has just destroyed all the mass. The Macedonian cavalry looks beautiful. They should have sent in their general's bodyguard and they might have not been able to win the battle but
the archers here are doing a fantastic job. To be honest, it's really just the archers and um, the cavalry that's doing much work. Uh, oh, put, put them into formation. Bonus to general coming in. Only reason we're getting a few kills is due to the fact that it kind of half breaks the formation when he charges in. Gonna be fighting. The gods have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. There's a unit of over 200 started to route. So I will chase him down. And I'll continue this battle. No point in chasing them down. So I lost about four percent. They lost seventy six percent and counting. And um, they're getting battered by arrows as we speak. So if you just go from one unit to the next, because sometimes when you stay with one unit, you go to the side, like what they're doing right now. So there we go, there we go, there we go. Clearly won the battle. Uh, I killed over 1,872, they killed 51. Um, casualties inflicted, each one of our current archers did over 300, and my general did 700, so great there. Spartan Hoplites, 79, and two armored Hoplites didn't actually get a kill, they just stood there waiting. So that's how good it is to hit a phalanx from the side or behind with cavalry or with archers. To be honest with infantry is effective as well. Cavalry is good because you do get the charge bonus though. Uh, right, Pegnam, you need a building. Okay, Governor's Palace. I'll give you the baths, kind of now. Town grows Pegnam. Eruption at Etna. I'm still cushed there. Thurman Blacksmith, because I'm normally due to protect your people. Um, just to end it there, yep. So I will. Uh, oh, use a hand my boats. Ah, uh, get obvious. So, I still don't understand why Skippy and I want to be my allies, but I'm not complaining that Syracuse is expanding. The construction completes Syracuse, the last temple of Athena. So, six turns until Corinth surrenders. There's another Macedonian army coming. So we'll just send them all down my way. I will kill every one of them. 
Um, ooh, lovely big Pontus armies on their way. Um, okay, do not get a port and just focus on trading. Sparta, you can recruit some archers now. No, the best, but hey, it's better than nothing. And get a ship, right? We'll get, get some money in with you. In fact, no, get a stable zone. Let's get you military. You, you have to be on a military prowess. So, the House of Britain and Skipper are doing nothing. Um, Pontus, I don't know where they're moving. Probably closer to me. Uh, oh, Athens at 2,500. Nice. Right, so Pegram's done that. So, if I go for the wooden wall, then I can get stone walls. You'll see the money drastically go up just in two minutes. Well, next turn, when Caedonia has got the... Uh, when Caedonia has got its port. So Athens is quite a big army there actually. Some of them can move. We'll head to Larissa soon. Pegram is just my defending outpost now for Turkey. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm focusing more on Greece, like conquering actual Greece. I know it's so stupid when I'm the Greek cities, but I'm focusing more on conquering Greece rather than going anywhere else. Soon. Why does the rebels get that many bloody ships? Oh well. What was I did? So, did that say I was? Did that say Carthage was attacking me? Yes. And look at Kai doing his money go up. Athens money went down. Maybe because of Thermon. Uh, that and the last temple of Hermes. Du, 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 du. Everything's going great. Three tons until corner surrenders. And Master, I'll just keep bringing more men down. That's fine. I'll fight you all. Uh, 1,243 weaklings are just going to get slaughtered. So, just a similar battle composition that we did do uh, just about five minutes ago. We'll probably have the Spartans at the left again, depending on where the reinforcements come from. That's why the Spartans were at that side this time. Or that time, I should say. So, oh there. Permission. Permission. There you go. And there we go. So we've got more reinforcements coming from that side. And yeah. Well, it's not, I'll just triple it until the Kretan Archers start firing. Which is now. And at this point, I'll just let them fire it whoever they want. And, and we'll see the death that is happening. So that's quite a few of them dead. 4% of them already. Oh. 
Du, 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 du. Så. So the master didn't have a fair this pavement, which I saw a bit on live pavement. Nothing amazing though. So the archers are just gonna fire in. Um, yep, I'm probably they're going in taking heavy casualties. My men in the middle are fighting. They live with pipe and don't know who to fight. Doesn't matter who they fight, they're going to die anyway. Dun 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 dun. Let's set them all in these mushroom hall plates down here. Um, just because they're trying to get my general. Ah, uh, these light lancers just. Let's just watch them die, why don't we? Um, let's run there. Lords have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. The gods be praised. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. The oh, that's where you killed the general. Perfect. So is the guys? They're all routing. And the Kretnats are gonna have a field day shooting them down like rabbits. Just like hunting rabbits. So here's a general's bodyguard that my crit and archers are going to demolish. I wonder how much damage archers actually do, because they're meant to be the elite cavalry. They maybe have two hit points, I suppose. Well, we just got annihilated there. So that's that enemy army routing as well. So to be honest now, all that's left is the last army. Get my archers to run. I'm a general. You come down. So who's it's taken that just now? Is it peasants? Oh, uh, everybody. So the peasants just lost 24 in that first volley. Light lancers. I know the light cavalry. They ain't got no shields, so the ones are quite easy pickings. They're gonna just die. Why have I got armor top plates away back here? The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches. Uh, 
We have an open experience shaver right in there. Now let's just watch these grind against the Spartans. 160 against 156. So they're Wow. I've not lost a man, they've lost half. They've lost and I never lost a man. Nice. Um, uh, no point chasing the light lancers to be honest. Peasants are getting shot by the arrows. So enemy general for one captain, Damascus and another captain. Bum 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 bum. Yep. So I'll just double the game speed just now. Triple game speed. So my cavalry will be tired, especially with my general's cavalry because he has done a lot. But he's gained a chevron there, I think, this battle as well. As of two of my units are creating archers. And to be honest, they all deserve it. 1,993 kills, 9 deaths. Um, archers, all oh, got a thousand between them, easy. 377, 3, 328, and 328. And my general's bodyguard got 426 for 7 casualties, and my Spartan Hall plates 148 without a casualty. So, with the armored Hall plates and the Spartan Hall plates, to be honest, no one right now can challenge me. I just need to make sure that I don't get hit from the side by cavalry. Which Macedon have got a lot of good cavalry. So they do. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Construction report. Oh, wrong button. Again. So Sparta's got the stables. Cavalry stables to get some actual Greek cavalry. Athens, that's fine. Thermon, you're still building after that. Go for the market. Pegging them that, then that, then that. Roads after that you can go with that. Kaidona, you're doing fine. Syracuse. Syracuse, Syracuse, Syracuse. What to do with you? There we go. Um so Arthur's two thousand eight hundred and forty five. I think in Brutai, one of my Brutai campaigns that I've done myself, not uh, on YouTube, um, I think Athens had about £4,000 so it did, per turn that it was gaining, which is quite a bit. Uh, yep, I'll need to get my navy sorted. I'm trying to actually get the land sorted, so. Uh, Alliance, Scythia and the Solicids. Surprised Pontus haven't came for me yet. It's been quite a weird campaign. Usually with the Greeks you can run off your feet. Because there's so much to do but you've never got enough time. Um, right, so Corinth, one turn to surrender. Oh, there's literally 12 men in the city. Um, Thurman, yep, you're building. So there's nothing else to do so I'll just end the turn there. Yeah, I was going to say, surely they weren't going to come out and fight me, the 12 men. I thought they were going to siege it. So there's me get Corinth, there's me get the kind of bottom area of Greece, southern Greece. Which is very handy to have, retrain all my units. And... Temple of Artemis. Nice. Very nice in fact. Because I'm going to set up oh, the wrong button. That upgrades missile weapons by two. Is 
Remember it says? Yep. So retrain. Ah, it's because it's full. So it's going to actually give my archers some silv silver um, attack. Which, oh my, oh my dick captured. Plus four bonus to population loyalty. I'm at 3,176 and I'm just at normal tax rate. I can't let it go to very high tax rate, 3,606. A low 3,000 and I'm going up 4% per turn, which at the end actually works out to be better for me. So I'm going to do that. Everybody else is doing good. Doing good. So yep, um, as I was saying with Sparta, um, the reason I'm recruiting all the archers is before I destroy... I wonder if Ballista counts as missing weapons. I'll put them first. Uh, before I destroy the temple, I want to upgrade as many archers as possible so that they've got silver chevron attack. And then that means that they will be amazing armor piercing pretty much. So that is all for this episode. Um, let me know in the comments section guys what you think I should do. Obviously I'm going to go and continue against Macedon. But do you think I should focus a wee bit on Sicily because I'm going to probably get attacked soon. Um, or should I made war, wage war with Pontus instead of waiting around coming to me? Uh, oh, Macedon. How did Mastodon get down there? Well, Macedonians have got to sit down there that we need to go, so I need to go to Africa anyway. But anyway, thank you very much guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure you do hit the bell at the corner. And that gets you the notifications first hand. So thank you very much for watching. Proud Pete out. Toodaloo the new.